What's up guys, it's me your badass host Draven and welcome to the very first episode of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. Yeah. Well, you guys convinced me it's finally happening. We're doing Pokemon Platinum yet again, even though it's not one of my favorite walkthroughs, but still we're gonna do it and we're gonna do it in all its completion. So let's go ahead and press that start button. Anywho, phase three has convinced me to do everything right here, guys. Yeah, we're doing this. We're in the Sinnoh region. And uh, boy, do I got a long story about this walkthrough. So, hello there. It's very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. And would you look at this guy? He looks kind of like Santa Claus himself, but really is not. And my name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before I go any further, is this your first adventure? If you need advice, I, I'm certainly capable of giving it. And no, we do not need no advice because, yes, we are the champs. Okay, so this world is widely inhabited by the creatures known as Pokemon. Here I have a Pokeball. Touch the Pokeball in the middle and uh, the Pokeball, if you please. And I'm going to be using the mouse for this one right here. So look at this. Clicking on that. And just like this, begin ourselves. We human uh, humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together and other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle uh, and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Okay, now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or are you a girl, obviously? With the sound of this manly voice right here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Alright, so you're a boy, yes. Tell me, what is your name? And what we're going to be doing here is, well, we're going to be using upper and, and lowercase uh, uh, letters right here. So, yes, it's me. And if I can find the... Oh, yes, there it is. It's me. It's me. It's GLD. And we're going to be uh, going straight for the good old Draven right here. Alrighty. Let's press that button. Yes. And, uh, well, your name is Draven. Yes. Okay. So, you're Draven. A fine name, that is. Now, this boy here, I believe, is your friend. And no, he is no friend of mine. What might his name be? Well, you guys already know. We're just going to give him a name. His name is Barry. Because, well, he's annoying. Yes, is, yes, he's he. that's his name, but he's not my friend. And, well, all right, Draven. The time has come. Your very own tale and grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way, you'll discover many things. Perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on and leap into the world of Pokemon. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go. Mm. This game is slow as hell. Pokemon are by our side always. I hope you will understand the meaning of those words. That was a comment left by Professor Rowan, who has returned to Sinnoh from the Kanto region. That concludes our special program. Let's ask Professor Rowan, brought to you by Jubilife TV on NationNet. See you next week, the same time, same channel. Okay, alrighty. Anywho, first is first. Let's go right ahead and change this whole thing because it's getting annoying, okay? Alrighty, so... Actually, hold on. Hold on, we gotta do this again. Anywho... Welcome, guys, to the next uh, walkthrough, the next episode, or the next walkthrough that we have here for our, you know, our channel, Pokemon Platinum, and I'm trying to find the proper, that looks cool, but no, let's see, the proper frame, that looks cool, but I kind of want, why is that happening, okay, uh, you know what, let's go with, uh, let's go with, let's go with this one right here, alright, let's close and let's get the heck out of here, anywho, What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and, well, there's Barry. There you are! Hey, Draven, did you see the TV? You sure did. Professor Rowan has really... <laughs> Professor Rowan, or Professor Rowan's that really important guy who studies Pokemon, right? That means he must have lots and lots of Pokemon. So if we were to ask him, I bet he'd give us some Pokemon. Uh-oh, what's going on here? Oh, hey, is this the new PC? Uh, where was I? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, right, right. We're going to see some Professor Rowan and get some Pokemon. I'll be waiting outside. Okay, Draven, if you're late, I'm finding you 10 million. Hmm. Huh. Okay, so... As many of you guys already know, I am, uh, not... Yeah, I am not the best... I'm not the fan... I'm not a big fan of either Hop or Barry, but that's how it is. So... 
Let's get the heck out here, and our mama's right here, and she's gonna be like, uh, Draven, Barry, uh, Barry already left. I don't know what is a what what it was about, but he sure was in a hurry. Okay, so yeah, we we yeah, it's it was a hurry. So okay, let's see. Oh yes, Draven, don't you go into the tall grass while the Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but don't, but you don't. So, well, you better take care, sweetie. Okay, so that doesn't really convince me very much right there. Anywho, here we are in the Sinnoh region again. And, uh, well, you know, we gotta go, we gotta go do this, this whole thing with Barry. Now, yes, my first, uh, yeah, the, the, the thing about Pokemon Platinum, if, if not Pokemon Diamond and Pearl and Platinum, it's not my favorite. It is not my favorite region, nor my favorite games, because of the speed of the game. And obviously, Barry right here. He's like, what was that about? Oh, hey, Draven. Hey, I'm going to see Professor Rowan. You should come, too, and quickly. And, uh, yeah, he forgets, too. Oh, jeez, I forgot something. Yeah, he, 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 he's, he's, he, he's, a, he's a special guy and a special, isn't he, huh? So let's go right ahead and see what this guy's all about. And he's like, I'd better take my bag and journal, too. Hmm. Oh, hey, Draven. I'll be waiting on the road. It's a, it's a 10 million find if you're, if you're late. Okay. Alrighty, so... Yeah. Anywho. Anywho, yes. Uh, like I was saying, guys. Pokemon Emer or Pokemon uh, Platinum. Or Pokemon... Yeah. Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, not my favorite series of all time because of the speed of the game. As you guys can see, I'm walking and it's just like it's already bothering me and all that stuff. But it does have quite a few things that, you know, that, I don't know, it just, uh, it, like, it, it really, really took some notice with the Pokemon games. It really displayed, like, the, 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 the advancement of how things went because I literally took, like, maybe two or three, maybe four years off from playing Pokemon. Now, here's Barry wanting to go into the tall grass, and he's trying to, you know, make me into a troublemaker. He's like, don't, don't go into the tall grass, right? No worries, no problem. It doesn't matter that we don't have any Pokemon. Trust me on this one. I've got an idea. Now, listen. You know how wild Pokemon jump out uh, uh, when you get go into the tall grass, right? So, what do you do, or what you do is, you scoot over to the next patch of, the, of grass before any wild Pokemon can appear. If we just keep dashing, we can get to the sand. We can get we can get to Sand Gym Town without running into wild Pokemon. Okay, stick with me. Okay, here it goes. On your marks, and hold it. Huh? Look at that. And it's Professor Ronnie. He's like, you two, uh, you two don't seem to have any Pokemon between you. Then what is the meaning of going into the tall grass? It, it be. Look at him, homeboy. He's the one trying to talk me into some bad stuff. Hmm. Hey, Draven. This old guy is Professor Rowan, isn't it? What is he doing here? Well, he's uh, seeing uh, that you're trying to lead me into some issues and stuff. They tried to go into the tall grass because they wanted Pokemon. Hmm. What to do? Their world would surely change if they were to meet Pokemon. Is it right for me to put them in on that path? Hmm. You too. You truly love Pokemon, don't you? Me too. I love Pokemon too. I will ask you once again. You too. You truly love Pokemon, do you? What? You can uh, you can ask a hundred times, and I'll uh, I'll never it'll never change. We'll both answer a hundred times, and we love Pokemon, right, Draven? Yeah, I love Pokemon, but yeah, I don't even know, man. A pair of reckless kids who foolishly try to enter tall grass without Pokemon of their own. It worries me that people like that would uh, do with Pokemon. Uh, well, I, uh, uh... Well then, forget about me. Give a Pokemon to my friend here. I mean, it was me who tried to go into the tall grass and all. And the professor's looking, he's like, how big of you? Very well then, I will entrust you two with Pokemon. I apologize for putting you through the uh, that exercise. However, you must promise me that you will never recklessly endanger yourselves again. Now then, hmm, now we were, oh. And there she is, the next girlfriend. Mm, 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 Don herself. Professor Rowan, you left your briefcase at the lake. Oh, is something wrong here? Ah, uh, there it is. Nice, uh, Don, nice work. 
what is about what or what was I about to do or what was I about to do uh, or what I was about to do was to entrust these two with their own Pokemon. Pardon? Those Pokemon are hard to replace. Are you sure of giving them away? Hmm. We exist side by side with Pokemon. There comes a time when people should, you know, share the Pokemon and all that stuff. There is a world that we should be uh, that should be explored together. For them, today is that time. The place right here. Go on, open the briefcase and choose a Pokemon. Really, Professor Rowan? I can't believe it. I'm sure. I'm so happy now that I can't keep a straight face. Hey, Draven, you can go. You can choose first. Hey, I'm practically a grown-up. I have to show some peer class here. Yeah, you're the one that tried to get me in trouble going into the tall grass right there, you a-hole. Anywho, uh, let's go into the briefcase. And as you guys can see, the graphics are pretty awesome because I'm using the same Dismume as uh, the or the same Dismume app for as in you know like in my Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver series. So as you guys can see, there are three Pokeballs. You got three Pokemon. You got a Turtwig, the grass type Pokemon. You got Chimchar, the fire type Pokemon, and then you got Piplup the penguin Pokemon, the water type Pokemon. So, here's the thing, guys. We have seen me go with Chimchar quite a few times, especially in the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond series where, yeah, I know, I didn't complete and all that stuff. It will be completed or redone or something like that eventually down the road. And then in the last Pokemon Platinum walkthrough, we got Turtwig, and it was mainly because, well, it was a very, very useful Pokemon. Unfortunately, not one of my favorite. Now, I was thinking long and hard about what I was going to be doing, especially with Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Platinum and all that stuff. Um, I, I've realized that over the years as I was playing Pokemon Platinum, especially when, you know, it was the first game coming back into the series, I never used this one Pokemon, and I kind of feel as though this is the time. Some of you guys may hate me, but it's going to be fun. Let's go right ahead and use the penguin Pokemon himself, Piplup. Alrighty. Then I choose you. I'm picking Turtwig. Very well. Both of you have chosen good Pokemon, it seems. Now listen well. The Pokemon you have or the, uh, you have been entrusted with a unfamiliar with the world. In regard, they are much like you. As fellow newcomers to the world, I hope you'll do uh, well together. If you have any trouble, come see me at my lab at Sandgem Town. And now, we'll be on our way. Okay, alrighty. And the girlfriend herself, Dawn, is like, Professor, wait for me. I'm sorry, pl please let me pass. Okay, she seems serious, and Barry's gonna be like, How do you act like that? Professor uh, Rowan's pretty, uh, really nice. On TV, he seems uh, so stern and scary. Hmm. He's gonna be looking, he's gonna be like, <laughs> Draven, we've both got Pokemon now. There's only one thing to do, right? Are you up for this? Uh, sure, sure, sure. Now, give me just a sec, guys. I got a little bit of a text message to answer, so I'll be right back with you. Okay, I'm back, so yes, I am ready for this. I've always wanted to say this. The time has finally come, Draven. I challenge you to a battle. Okay, so here it is, guys, our very first Pokemon battle against Pokemon Trainer Barry. Very, very annoying Pokemon Trainer as well. And we're going to be coming out with the very first Pokemon we've ever gotten and that is Piplup. Piplup is a very interesting Pokemon because eventually it evolves into a steel water type and yeah we're gonna be speeding this up look at that we got the speed button Turtwig his defense is going up and uh, yeah <laughs> all right here we go pound attack finishing off and there you go we win so yeah Piplup kick some butt take some names and look at this Piplup goes to level 6, and Barry, just looking at us, is like, What are you saying? We ended up losing? Yes. Yes, you did. Whew. Let's go home. I'm beat after that battle. My Pokemon needs rest, too. See ya, Draven. And, well, we're going to be panning towards the next part. Okay, so here we are home, and our mom is going to be looking at the TV. She's going to be looking at things, and she's going to be like, What's the matter, dear? Wow. What? The, that's that's what happened to you? You and Barry are lucky to have met Professor Rowan. Imagine if you didn't. I wouldn't like the, to think that uh, the wild Pokemon might have done uh, to you two or whatever. Draven, go see Professor Rowan and thank him properly for your Pokemon. His lab is in Sandgem Town, isn't it? Now, now that you got your own Pokemon, the tall grass won't be th so threatening. 
That is true. Oh, I know. Draven, put these on. And look at this. Early on, we get ourselves some running shoes. Ain't she sweet? Uh, let's see. With those running shoes, you can get a, or you can go uh, get to faraway places much faster. Okay, let me read the instructions. Press B and dash with uh, dash about faster than ever before. Put the running shoes and blaze new trails of adventure. Well, isn't that nifty? It is. It is very, very nifty. And well, let's see. I think it's time to move on to the next best thing right here. So let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, and that is Piplup. Let's go right ahead and look at this Pokemon. So as you guys can see, we got Piplup, the female Pokemon right here. And it has an adamant nature. And as you guys can see, it is quick to flee, like spicy food. And what else? Its stats are pretty good. Torrent right there. And then what else? It does have two attacks. Eventually it learns multiple attacks right here. Now I get that I ch I've probably chosen the wrong Pokemon like the worst Pokemon out of the starters but you know it is what it is guys I want to try something new especially right here for this series and this guy Barry's like too slow Draven I'm sick of waiting I wanted to see Professor Owen so I can uh, thank him properly so I had the, uh, this great idea listen up okay you know at the lake that we're, where we always play at you know how they say a legendary Pokemon lives there you guessed it let's catch that legendary Pokemon that'll make Professor Owen happy I'm sure of that and uh, let's see, me and you together, we've got nothing to fear. And unfortunately, he is going to be stuck with us. So let's go ahead and press that B button and go into the variety, variety lakefront. There's no or there's no Pokemon that you're going to be battling right here. And Barry's going to be like, all right, we're at the lake. Get ready because we're capturing that legendary Pokemon. Trust me on this one. It's here. It even uh, says so on the sign. Okay. All righty. Okay. So let's go right ahead and see what this is all about. And as you guys can see, Barry's gonna be like, what's going on? And there is a shady character just like looking on. He's like, the flowing time, the expanding space. I will make it all mine one day. Cyrus is my name, remember it. Until then, sleep while you can, legendary Pokemon of the lake bed. Yeah, this guy is like creepy. Allow me to pass, step aside. Yeah, this guy is, uh, yeah, he, he, he's something. What was that about? Weird guy. Huh. Okay, Draven, let's catch the legendary Pokemon. And then right there, you'll hear the legendary Pokemon, and he's just gonna be rushing up and down, wondering where the heck this Pokemon's at, and he's gonna be like... Did you hear that, Draven? That was the legendary Pokemon crying. That had to be it. Okay, this is our chance. Let's catch it. Uh-oh, he just realized something. Wait, what? We don't have anything on us! You know, Pokeballs! poke e balls if we, don't have the, uh, if we don't have those, we can't catch Pokemon or take them around with us. Do you think Professor Rome will give us some if we ask him? You know, you remember what he said, don't you? He said to go visit, uh, visit him at his lab if we needed anything. Okay, Draven, I'll race you. First one to the Professor's lab in San Jim Town's rules. I hate that guy. I do. But yes, this is Lake Variety, guys. Of course, you're going to be seeing quite a few things going on right there eventually. And, well, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be speeding through. We're going to go to Sand Gym Town and probably battle quite a few Pokemon along the way. So let's go right ahead and just run, run our little hearts out right here. And again, we're going to be speeding up the whole thing right here because, well, yeah, who, who likes a slow game? So let's go right ahead, move on, and look at that, Starly again, there we go, and just like that, we grow to level 7, kicking butt, taking names, and I think there's an individual right here that gives us something. Hi, I work at the Pokemon. Did you know that the Pokemon's health is measured by hit points, HP? If a Pokemon runs out of HP, it faints and it can't battle anymore. If a Pokemon's HP gets low, you should heal it with a potion. Here, let me give you a potion as a free sample. First one's free. And it will go on. It will automatically go into your medicine pocket in your bag. And there it is. We got ourselves a potion. And yeah, we got. Yeah, we got a bag. So let's go right ahead and move on. And of course, get attacked by a bunch of Starlies. Let's go. Come on, for the bitches. There you go. Okay. So the next town over is Sand Gem Town. And uh, well, would you look at that? Our girlfriend notices us, and she's like, Oh, there you are. Please come with me. 
the professor is waiting. This is it, our Pokemon Research Lab. Let's go. And of course, he's gonna be thudding on us and he's gonna be like, what the? Oh, it's you, Draven. That old guy, he's not, he's not scary so much uh, as he is totally out there. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter, Draven. I'm out here, see you later. Yeah, he's, 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 he's definitely something. He's like, what was that about? Your friend sure seems uh, to be really impatient. Well then, well, anyways, let's go inside. And, well, let's go right ahead and take care of the business right here. Talk to Professor Rowan, and he's going to be like, well, well, look who's here. Draven, wasn't it? Let's have a look at the Pokemon. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy with you. Okay. Hmm, interesting you with that Piplup was no mistake, it seems. Well, would you like to give it a nickname? Yes, let's go ahead and give it a nickname. I'm trying to figure out something right here. Hmm. It's going to evolve into something pretty awesome. Very, very awesome. Let's see, what's a good nickname for this Pokemon? I'm trying to figure it out. It does evolve into a steel and water type Pokemon. And the way it looks is just pretty cool. Oh, yes. Let's go right ahead and nickname it after a, uh, a, uh, a god. Because that's what it looks like. So, ladies and gentlemen, Psy. Let's see, I think that's a Psy done. Yes, uh, let me see if I spelt it correctly. I'm, you know, you know me. I'm just like, whatever. Uh, yeah, the nickname is going to be Poseidon. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me check. Let me check. I got you guys. Don't, don't, don't judge me on the spelling and all that stuff. Hold on. Poseidon. Poseidon. Let's see. Oh, no. There it is. Okay, so it's incorrectly spelt. Let's go back to... Let's go back to the proper spelling. So here it is, guys. Say hello to Poseidon. Even though it's a female. Yeah, you know, it's a goddess and whatever. Hmm, okay, I see that you're happy with that nickname, yes. When I, f when I first saw you two about to step into that grass without Pokemon, I was shocked. I was astounded by these full, uh, the, these full hardy children. But now you've astounded me in an entirely different way. Already, there is a bond growing between you and that Pokemon. I feel privileged to have met you. I'm sure Piplup feels the same way about you. That's why I'll ask you to cherish that Piplup of yours. And Don's gonna be like, I am so glad that you're kind toward that Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd say, or if you weren't, I'd have to, well, uh, I, I, I just can't say it. Hmm. Okay, so I'm pretty sure she'd probably beat me up. <clears throat> Let's move on into the main topic. There is something I want you to do for me. Allow me to properly introduce myself first. My name is, as you know, Professor Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want you to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokédex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want you. I want to entrust you with this Pokédex. Will you use it to record the data on all Pokémon in the Sinnoh region for me? Yes, I will. Hmm. Good answer. And there it is, guys. We got ourselves a Pokédex. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokémon you encounter. Draven, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every Pokémon of every kind in this region. I've got one too! When you walked up at Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I've lived for 60 long years, even now I get a thrill when I'm with Pokemon. Now that you now you should know that there are countless of Pokemon in this world, that means that there are many, many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go! Draven, your grand adventure begins now. The Pokemon I met for the first time was Chimchar. If you would have chosen Chimchar at Route 201, we'd have the same Pokemon now. Yeah, that's not true. You probably would have had a different Pokemon. Anywho, not that it matters, but anyways, I'm done. I also helped the professor add pages to the Pokedex. So in a, in a sense, I'm like I'm just like you. I just got a little head start on you, that's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Draven. Oh, she's going to be teaching me things, huh? Hmm, okay. Alrighty, so yeah, we're going to be completing this episode with... The tutoring, because, well, that's pretty much what it is. And, uh, well, Professor Rowan's like, Draven! Uh-oh. I have something good here. You should probably take it as well. And we get ourselves the TM-27, which is a very, very good move. Technical machine named Return. 
Using a technical technical machine or TM for short teaches a poop uh, move instantly to a Pokemon. Bear in mind, however, that a that a TM is a single use only. The move return gains power for more. F the more friendly your Pokemon is, it's with you. It's up to you, of course, if you want to use that TM or not. I'll send you off with the with the wish that your journey will be fun. Okay, and Don's gonna be like, oh wow, I didn't know Professor. I didn't know the Professor had TMs. Was he a trainer when he was uh, young? He probably was. Okay, Draven, I'll act as your mentor. I've got a quick, I've got a bit of experience than the than you as a trainer and as professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. And we're following, and of course we're you know we're gonna be known. This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. It's a place that heals Pokemon that have been hurt in battle. You can find a Pokemon Center in most towns. Look at this. And the building with the blue roof over here is the Pokemon. It's a shop where you can buy and sell items with the medicine. Driven, since you're a novice trainer, you won't be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. Don't let it bother you. And she's looking at us she's like, oh, that's right, Draven. Don't you don't you need to let your family know that you're going to be helping uh, Professor Rowan with the Pokedex? You may need you need to go far away, so I think you should let somebody know. Oh, but before you go, heal up your Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. It will be less scary less scary that way. Okay, bye now. Hmm. Okay, so what we're gonna finally do is we're gonna go back to Little Root, I believe. We're gonna go back to our hometown. So I'll be right back with you guys, cause yeah, we got some stuff to do. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back at our house, and what we need to do now is we need to talk to our mama. And she's like, "Welcome home, Draven. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? Take a quick nap." Yes, we're gonna get a nap. And well, what happens here next is, what is this, Draven? Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big. Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know. I've got something that you, you'll find useful. And here we have a journal, which, well, you know, we can write down our thoughts and, you know, daily events and all that crud. And, uh, gee, a journey is full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. <laughs> I'm just joking, dear. Yep, Draven. I'll be alright uh, by myself, so you go on and enjoy your adventure. When you're exposed to new things, the experience of new sensations, it makes your mother happy too. But come back sometimes. I would like to see the kinds, uh, the kinds of Pokemon you've caught, dear. And, oh my god, here is Barry's mom, and she's like, Excuse me, is my little Barry here? Oh, no, he's not. Oh, then he must have left already. What do I do? That boy shouted uh, about going on an adventure, and he bolted. He's uh, he's so headstrong and reckless. I would at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry, Draven will deliver that to him. Won't you, Draven? I don't. I really don't. But I have no choice. Yeah. Okay. Go right ahead, Mom. Oh, really? Would you do that to me for me? And please take this for me. And we are gonna be getting a parcel, which will hold his maps and all that stuff, I guess. Bye, bye, Draven. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing that boy, or knowing my boy, he would probably head straight to Jubilife City. Okay, please take that to my Barry. Okay, well, that is that. We're gonna speed through. We're gonna go ahead and speed through to San Jim Town and get to, to how to capture Pokemon. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So here we are in San Jim Town, and what we need to do next is actually we're gonna be going straight to Route 202. And talk to Dawn right here, and she's gonna be like, Oh, that's right. Driven, I haven't shown you how to catch Pokemon. I'll demonstrate how to catch one, so just watch me, okay? Alright, whatever you say, baby. So, here it is. We're gonna be going up against a Bidoof, the Lord and Savior himself. And she's gonna be teaching us how to capture some Pokemon right here. Now, obviously, I am knocking this all out of the way because, well, we don't need to be taught how to capture Pokemon. We, we've had plenty of experience, and, uh, well, hopefully this will be done in a timely fashion. I'm not speeding through it because, well, some of you guys may not know how to capture a Pokemon, or you're just starting off with this. I don't know. I do not know. So, here she is with 20 Pokeballs in all, ready to capture these Pokemon, and... Well, here we go, Pokeball. And just like that, without doing anything else, it's just throwing a Pokeball and capturing this one Pokemon. So there it is, guys. She caught herself a Bidoof. Bidoof, Bidoof, the Pokemon that can learn anything and everything. And well, 
<laughs> She's giggling. See? Isn't that neat? Actually, it's better than it's better to lower your target's HP more than I did. It's important to get the Pokemon's HP down as low as possible. This is because a healthy Pokemon is very difficult to catch. Oh, Pokemon also get easier to catch if you make them uh, sleep or something by a Pokemon's move. Okay, Draven. To get you started, I'll give you five Pokeballs. And there it is. We get ourselves five Pokeballs. And if you have lots of Pokemon with you, it will be safer for long trips. Plus, it will be a lot of fun uh, having Pokemon for as friends. Okay, I need to get going. Bye now. And that right there is pretty much it, guys. So, we're going to continue our adventure. We're going to be definitely continuing our adventure in the next episode. This was just me taking care of the first part. Now, uh, let's see. There seems to be something right here that many people seem to forget. Let's see. Route 219. Look at that. You can get yourself an antidote right there and then, guys. That's it. Anywho. Yep. <sighs> As you guys can probably tell, yes, I'm excited of doing this uh, this walkthrough, but we're going to get it done as quickly as the last few walkthroughs. Five episodes every single week in all, and I hope you enjoy them all because of all the support you guys have been giving me. Anywho, I do have a merch store down below right there, guys. If you guys want to support this channel, go right ahead, enter the merch store, go ahead and get a little bit of goodies and all that stuff. Other than that, guys, thank you guys again for supporting, for being as patient as possible. We will be continuing our adventure right here in Pokemon Platinum. See you guys.